Welcome. This video will provide an overview of Logicube's ZClone XI or ZXI, a multi-target, extremely fast hard drive duplicator and wiper. Why choose ZXI? It's versatile. The ZXI has six SATA, SAS is optional, and three USB 3.0 ports in the standard unit. Optional expansion kit adds four additional target ports. It's feature rich. It supports mirror copy, a bit for bit copy, and clever copy, which copies only the data areas. It includes a networking feature, clone from a network repository to six target drives. The ZXI includes two gigabit ethernet ports. Advanced options are easy to add now or later as requirements change or workload increases. The ZXI provides efficient volume cloning, fast imaging speeds of 24 gigabytes a minute, multi-target cloning, clone from one master to five target drives in the standard unit, and up to nine targets with the optional expansion kit. The ZXI has multi-session capability, clone to one drive while wiping a second drive. It provides a multi-image master, store multiple images in a repository created on a USB enclosure, on a hard drive, or on a network location, and then clone to targets. The ZXI features a four drive expansion kit option, which adds two SATA, SAS, and two SATA only targets for a total of nine SATA, or seven SAS, with the purchase of the SAS option, targets. The ZXI has advanced features. We include a wipe feature. You can wipe to DOD 7 pass, do a secure erase, or a custom pass. Audit trail and log files are available for every operation. You can view, export, or print log files. Bad sector handling allows you to abort or skip and also allows you to set error granularity. The standard unit supports SATA and USB 3. There is support for SAS with a software activation option. And there are various adapters available for IDE, MSATA, eSATA, ZIF, PCIe M.2 SATA and AHCI types, as well as flash drives. We have an optional hash verification. This allows you to clone and verify the exact replication of the master drive in the same process using MD5, SHA-1, or SHA-2 hash. The ZXI is easy to use. We have a browser-based user interface, a seven inch color touchscreen, easy icon-based navigation, you can manage all tasks and control multiple units via web browser remotely. Create custom profiles and configurations. A task macro feature allows users to set specific tasks to be performed sequentially. Now I'll do a quick product tour. You'll see here the ZXI drive bays. There are six drive bays and you can see the removable drive stations that are uh, lined up on each side of those bays. The USB 3.0 port on the front of the unit, a warning LED as well as an alarm, our touch screen display, and your power on off. On the rear of the ZXI, we have the fan and the power, a PS2 mouse port and a PS2 keyboard port, two HDMI ports, a VGA port, two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 host ports, as well as your two gigabit ethernet ports. On the right side of the ZXI, you'll see the expansion bays, two SATA SAS and two SATA only. And this will show you the optional expansion kit with the drives installed and the uh, tray. Um, this option includes the four cables and the four drive stations that are inserted on the side. Now we'll go for a quick tour of the user interface. 
I've connected a ZXI to our local network here and accessed it via my web browser. Um, you'll see the user interface here and we'll do a quick tour of that. Uh, just a reminder that this interface looks exactly the same on the ZXI touchscreen. So there is no learning curve whether you're using it on the ZXI screen itself or when you've connected it to a network and you're using it remotely. On the left hand side you'll see there is a variety of different menus that you can access including for example um, the system settings um, or the statistics page that will show you everything about the ZXI including the serial number, um, advanced drive statistics regarding the drives that are connected and any options that are installed on the unit. Now we'll go to the clone screen and as you can see from the left to the right um, there's various settings that um, you can access. For example, I can go into mode and select the, the specific mode that I want to use. In this case, we'll use drive to drive. I'm going to select the uh, master drive here and you'll see it's available. I select it. It shows selected. Then we'll go into settings. The, in this case, we're, we're setting it for 100% mirror um, uh, under error handling. We're going to skip granularity at one sector. You could choose to unlock the HPA and DCO. In the job info, you can, you can add a job name or a job ID for any of the operations that you want to use it for. Um, you could also do the hash verification um, if you chose to here. And we'll select the targets. In this case I'm going to select T1, T2, and T3. And then all you do is hit start. As the cloning progresses, you'll see your progress in this screen and if at any time you want to abort the task, you can do so using this red button here. Um, I can add new tasks using this button for any kind of cloning task that I wanted to do. If I wanted to add a wipe task while I was cloning, I can go to the wipe screen, um, select the target that I want to wipe, in this case I've selected T4. Go on to your settings. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose DOD, and I've set up the um, passes that I want to use. You need to set all seven. And hit start. And again, you'll see the progress here on the screen as it progresses. And in at all times you'll see uh, what tasks are enabled and what their progress is in this upper left hand screen. We hope you've enjoyed our brief overview of the Z-Clone XI. If you have any questions regarding this product, please visit our website at www.logicube.com or contact us via our website. Thank you.